ran into that. I'll just leave you there then. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Out of here! Oh, oh, no, 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 no! no! Ah, uh, yes. The Martin Man has returned to the shores of the Mighty United and is now going to start taking on America. But he will not be alone. He will have with him a cadre of other Australians. Specifically, nine more Australians. So that's ten idiot Australians versus the United States of America. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we're... I mean... Good luck, bro. You guys yeah. lost a war against birds. <laughs> Those who don't know, he's talking about the emu war, which... Here's the thing, they did technically lose a war versus birds, but they didn't really dedicate many assets. I'll give the Aussies this much. They didn't give as many assets to it as they could have. They basically just gave a, one commanding officer, two sol it was one commanding officer, two soldiers, and two, like, machine guns. That's it. And they still lost, but, I mean, they still lost to birds, but... Honestly, when they say that, huh, 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 lost bird, lost to birds, it's like, technically, yeah, but at the same time, it's like, eh. They weren't trying that hard, I guess. I guess, yeah. But, Mart recently just hit 2 million subs. Yay! Ooh. Congratulations. Nice. Also, also, Mart, Mart, I have something, I have a question. Why are you running from Finland, Mart? Why are you running away from your responsibilities? Oh, good God, Asher, really? Oh, no. Asher Fiddling just... Fiddling smells like that. I understand why he ran. Well, it, it it is after Mart's done marching around in it. Especially if he's running around pissing and shitting himself while intoxicated and pissed drunk out of his mind. Cause How don't... many miles does he still have to go? I think he still has, like... I think he has under 2,000 now. But still, there's a lot of people who are just like, where's, where's my summer car, Mark? Where's, where, where It's probably just like, rest? look, dudes, there's only so much one man can take at a time. You gotta give me a minute. No, and, and here's the thing. I get, I, I'm on Mark's side on this. Like, he is so busy with everything else going on between networking with everyone else, between editing multiple videos for multiple channels, for streaming on a regular basis. The dude is, hands down, one of like the hardest working Twitch streamers and editor. Here's the thing, a lot of Twitch streamers don't edit their own shit. Asmongold, from what I understand, he doesn't edit his own shit, he sends it off to someone else to get edited. And Mart edits everything himself because he is such a perfectionist. And I respect the hell out of that. I mean, and, and editing can be hard, man. I mean, it's just like it's just like me editing uh, the Party Animals video that we most recently put out. Which, uh, by the way, if you want to check it out, hit hit click click right down there in the comment section, or uh, right down there, or probably a little link over top of Nick's head somewhere up here. I don't know, but either way, if you all like, if you all like who edit out there, you all understand. How difficult it can be to to get motivated to put some stuff out there, especially if people aren't paying attention. Which, thankfully, people are paying attention on our gaming channel, and we're about to hit eleven thousand subs. Which, hey, thank you for that. But also, I mean, when like I I'm all for Mart having fun like this because whenever he does this and he has fun, I mean, like what else is there? Like it just. Let the man enjoy life. Asher is still blowing ass down there. You know what, man? I'm not going to let enjoy life right now. What? This man right here. Mr. Proper. Come on. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> Asher has been banished to the Shadow Realm. Nick is taking 
precautionary measures so that he may not be able to lay any more carpet bombs upon us. So yeah, uh, Asher is Asher is being being put back upstairs. Feel better? Not yet. It's still clearing out. Oh, fair enough. So we have uh, ten Australians versus America by Martin Cito Pants. Let's see what Mart has to offer. Here we go. Hello again. Hello. Hi. Hell yeah. <laughs> really? A few months Hell ago, yeah. my friends and I had a most devilish idea. Go to the United States of America. Oh, you can't park there. Again. This idea was a good one, because it turns out America it's goes big. hard. Yes. So join us today as me and, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of my idiot friends embark on this grand adventure. Five days in Los Angeles. Pull over, asshole, and drive Pull fucking over. asshole. Two days in an alpine lake house. <laughs> house blew up. Three days in the Grand Canyon. And nine whole days in fabulous Las Vegas. Ah! So... Let us begin. <laughs> Sounds like you're going to all the stressful places in the United States. What? Oh my god. <laughs> also, get, uh, given Mart's history of what lettuce does to his gastric system, oh lord, this is not going to end well. Keep in mind, everyone who like everyone who remembers from the uh, from the uh, previous one, how uh, when he ate lettuce in his uh, in his uh, Chipotle burrito. Bad times were had. Very, very bad times. Kind of forgot about that. Uh. Begin. <laughs> he started tripping balls. But before we begin, World of Tanks. That's right, mongrels. Oh. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Do you ever dream about becoming <coughs> a tank? Do you want to die in a war? Do you find yourself daydreaming about the destruction of France? And do you... Uh, 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 tanks! World of Tanks! The greatest, <laughs> most least expensive free tank game ever created. You can drive this, or this, or even this. It's incredible. But Mart, what can be better than the beautiful gift of life? Shut the fuck up! Shut your fucking up! Giant oh, weapons, geez. guns, hot steamy loads. I can assure you, 75 millimeters is well above average. Download World of Tanks right now with the link in the description and use my special super secret, uber secret, ultra mega secret invite code COMBAT to claim a bunch of free Combat. stuff. Two players get 250,000 credits, seven days of premium access, three rental tanks for 10 battles each. Like one, three on T78 and Top 64 and the Cromwell. <laughs> Sit up straighter. Stop slouching, you lazy fuck. Existing players get three days premium. This funky camouflage and a seven day rental of this sick as fuck tank. Already have this sick as fuck tank? How about a little walking around money, huh? 100,000 credits of a walking around money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Click the link in park, I mean link in the description, and use code COMBAT and transform your stale, decrepit life. Thanks for all the tanks for sponsoring this video. Anyway, let's begin. Day one. Before we could do anything silly, we'd have to actually get to America. We had a few options. Swim, dinghy, stow away on a cargo ship, flap our arms really, really hard, or buy airline tickets and fly there. We chose airline tickets because flapping our arms is very tiring. <laughs> so, we all loaded up on a few different planes and began the very long, arduous journey to LAX. All ten of us. Martin, that's me, Tristan, Sydney, Kai, Arlo, Tim, Seamus, Simon, Harrison, and Nathan. Well, that's- Who's was that last one there? Who's that last one there? <laughs> Damn. I think that's a different Nathan. Damn. Mart, if you need another Nathan, I'm right here. It's the whole cast. Let's get to LA. <laughs> On the flight over, Sydney went Unabomber mode and spent literally the entire flight playing blackjack. Tristan found a watch in the airport worth nearly $100,000. And the face. Kai and Seamus got Ugh. some early morning wakey wakey beers. Hell yeah. Nathan sent this rather silly text to the group chat. Tell him you saw Seamus put a ball in his bag. At the exact moment... Don't be walking through TSA with that displayed on your phone. It's like, all right, random security tip, like random cavity search. Seamus gave his phone to airport staff resulting in Seamus getting grilled by security for about 20 minutes, and I got a great view of all the places we will be going on this trip. The desert, 
the lake, the mountains, and sunny Los Angeles. Hell yeah. So, the first group arrived and went to collect the rental car. On foot, with their bags, on a walk that looks like this, for an hour. When there's a free shuttle. Damn. Yeah. Well done, gents. Oh, free shuttle rides. That's the thing. Impatience can lead to very bad things. Like, my uncle got very impatient when we were waiting for the shuttle when we got to Orlando, and he decided, I'll walk there. It'll just be faster anyway. No, With, within, what are you talking about? He left. He left and was gone for about seven or eight minutes. Shuttle arrives. We get on the shuttle. We start driving. Not even a minute passes, and we pass him. And we're and we're literally staring at him out the window as we pass by. And my dad's literally just going like. <laughs> And then we get in the car, we get in the car, and we drove to meet him <laughs> on the walkway. And we were just, and my dad was just like, how are your feet? Are they tired yet? And he was just like, shut up, Brian. And then he hopped in and we, we went to the hotel. Uh, Once they did get the car, they took it back to the Airbnb, unloaded their stuff, and came back to the airport to get me. Situation update, New Vegas. the traffic got worse. So far, As they do. all was going to plan. But this was when I received a harrowing message. Mart, we wrote off the rental. Four hours in, and it was already so fucking over. We lost Seamus. Bruh. What happened to Seamus? Sydney has no reception, but he is so fun king sorry. <laughs> he is so fun king sorry. So, um, what actually happened to Seamus? Well, nothing. Yep. <laughs> what That's right. I got pranked. Yep. With that I knew it. I fucking knew it. Complete fucking catastrophe averted, we continued back to the house. But, on the way, I received a text <coughs> from my agent. Hello, Mart. Would you like to come to a cool party? Oh, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just landing with all my friends. There's free drinks. Let's go! Mm -hmm. One quick yeah. detour to the party's <laughs> entrance later, which was in Skid Row. Yes. Yes. That Skid Row. Yes. The graffiti looks cool, though. And I had arrived. This party touted some featured guests, like this random guy, and this random guy, and Sapnap. Oh no. Oh, and uh, the Kid Leroy was also performing. So that was cool. Anyway, I loaded myself up on free drinks, Burr, took no. a few hot images, listened to the child Larry go, and, the child Larry. and that was that. Back to the house. Here they are, boys. Fucking aliens. Okay. Back at the house, I realized we had picked well. Lots of beds, lots of space, and a chill as fuck balcony. But let me ask you this, Mart. What's the bathroom rotation looking like? <laughs> is the bat is is the is it another nightmare shit rotation? So it was about 10 p.m. We could go to bed, or we could take those scooters right there to a nightclub. Free electric scooters, bro. Let's go. That was pretty good. Let's go to bed. Me, 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 me. Day two. <laughs> it's the censoring the feet. He did that earlier. Yeah. It, that's a meme now. It's like, you have to show your feet, but they, you always censor them. Because, I forget who did it. There was a guy who did it on shorts because he, he showed his girlfriend, like, like just he was filming his girlfriend doing like a short uh, thing of like her laying in bed. And she pulled the covers up and showed her feet. And then the comments were just like, be like, feet, 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 feet. And then he decided from then on he would censor his girlfriend's feet. And it just became a meme. People are fucking weirdos. Yes, they are. Hey, every hey everybody. One of the top searches, Renegade Media Group, Wyndham. 
beat. Fucking degenerates. I don't get it. You'll never Dude. get anything from me. So I always wear shoes. I'm I'm just wearing socks. But I don't mind showing my feet. Trust me, I don't think there's a single person out there who wants to see my feet. My crusty, disgusting, like, athlete's foot riddled feet. Woke up, jumped on the balcony, and had a chill. Yeah. There were still some people who hadn't yet arrived. So once we were done stuffing our face with breakfast, Quiet guy noodle. we set off back to LAX. This is where we also got our second rental car. Another, identical, Toyota Sienna. One of these bad boys, legally speaking, holds seven people. But, we have ten. So we were like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's get two. Two cars are Hell always yeah. better than one. Hey, get off the fucking road, asshole! Lunch. You're not in New York. Stop using the New York accent in fucking Los Angeles. I had a lot of good things to say about Denny's last year, but this year we branched <coughs> out a bit and tried some of the more different items on the menu. This was a terrible mistake. Kai ordered a deep fried steak. Arlo got this sandwich. Chicken with fried steak, dude. I like chicken fried steak. I don't. What? Dude. Never had a good one. Okay. Fair enough. I'll make one and I'll let you try mine and see what you think. And if you like it, cool. I mean, I'll try, like, you know, well, many things. I'm not picky about trying this stuff. I'm just saying I haven't currently had a good one. Well, here's my thing about it. They never tenderize it right. You're supposed to tenderize it like you tenderize schnitzel. I mean, mostly I've tried it for my mom, and my mom doesn't know how to make regular steak. So. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> like, if my mom was to make a regular steak, she would make it well done. Mm. Well, that's her prerogative. That's why I grew up thinking steak kind of sucked. <laughs> until I had a good one. Until you had mine. Yeah. Well, it was until my sister actually made one one time. Oh, it was actually okay. cooked correctly. Very nice. It was like a medium, and it had uh, this fucking herbal butter. Like or I don't know what kind of butter. It was. Good garlic, herbs, and butters. Yeah, it was some good ass butter on it, and it was like, oh, oh, this is now I see why people like steak. And then, and then you tried my sous vide steak that one time, and yeah, you make good steaks. So. Thank you, thank you very much. With about eighteen thousand layers of ham in it, that and the table good. just generally looked unsettlingly orange. <laughs> well, that was disappointing. What the fuck's up, Denny? See here. Aww. Last night was pretty fun, but that little montage <coughs> might have oversold things a bit. Aww. Just a bit. Tonight, however, was Friday night, and Friday nights in LA tend to go pretty hard. But before going out, we'd need a solid, powerful, invigorating hype rotation. And for said hype rotation, we'd need supplies. So we bought the essentials. Some 40 ounce bottles of beer, which are huge. Four loco, huge. which is also huge. And rhinoceros mona pills. No, you do not want to have a heart attack, bro. Yeah, we didn't buy those. Anyway, it was... <laughs> Thank God. Smart. I don't want Mark to die of a heart attack. Time to hype the fuck up. Blackjack, but drinking. Whenever someone won, they'd pour a bit of drink in this cup. That's fucking brown, man. They're basically playing Kings. You ever played Kings? Basically, uh, the game is like, like every card that you draw has a thing on it. And... There's a thing, there's one, it's, uh, there's four kings, and every time you draw a king, there's a cup in the middle, you pour a bit of your drink in the cup in the middle, and he, he or she, who draws the last king, drinks the whole glass. Except for, I thought he said they were playing blackjack. They are, but I said it's like kings. Oh. It's not, yeah, but anyone out there who's ever played kings, y'all know what's up. And if someone hit blackjack, they'd have to drink it. Oh! But what about the dealer, you might say? Well, we thought about that too. No. If two people hit blackjack, the dealer drinks. It's done! It's a f***ing beg. Oh, yeah. That's never blackjack, happening. They drink. That's, that's never happening. That's Sometimes. one in 252 odds. One in 252 million is f***ing idiot. Can 
you guess what happened next. One jet, one black jet. Let's fucking go! Oh, party foul. Come on, bro. On the balloon! On the balloon! Alright, let's go. Yeah! Cheers, bros. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, ha I'm happy as long as he's carrying me home later. It's <laughs> over. Shaking the fuck up. He's done. Meanwhile, Kai have been steadily polishing off this drink. But what was this drink? Well, take one 40 ounce of beer, drink half of it, and fill it back to the top with four loco. No! Gentlemen, behold the sidewalk slammer. Right? <laughs> Cause that's exactly what you're going to do, is slam into the sidewalk, baby. Oh, oh, I like that. That is... I, I don't, that gives me anxiety to think about. I, no, I like that as a concept for, like, them to get fucked up on, like, 4 Loco and a 40. 40 Loco. The well, sidewalk slammer. More, like, I hope he's the only one drinking that, or you guys have more than one place for people to puke in there. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and by now, Kai had finished it. And by that, don't feel shit. Let's go to the club. Yeah, okay. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. Rolling balls, guy. Free fight. <laughs> Into the this night. is all like how he wished the night went pretty much Day with three. Like <coughs> We woke up. Mm, I got a real experience. <laughs> Who the fuck's this? <laughs> Uh, who the fuck is that? Well, dear viewer, that's Melvin, our silly friend we met last night. So, uh, what actually happened last night then? Well, shortly after arriving, we met Smelvin, got a few drinks in us, Ow. and then poor Kai started absolutely fighting for his life against the sidewalk slammer. He lost. <laughs> Fucking told you. Oh. So I don't feel shit. You're Kai. gonna. <laughs> Kai. You know many quadrates, Phyllis, better do Sunday. And then got sent home. We moved on to the next place where we had several good. domestic incidents hey, that at once. Oh shit, lad. Oh shit. I would not no, no he, uh, here's the thing you're not hearing me you're not here dude if they want you gone get the fuck out like that, that's that's the thing that's their club you don't own it get the fuck out but everyone's about everyone's got a bunch of liquid courage in their veins and they think they're 10 feet tall and bulletproof and then they get to get knocked the fuck out I remember when Targo knocked out that one dude that was just like go like just like just like wanna be tough guy, he's just like, the fuck's up, bro? Fuck's up, bro. <laughs> guy was out on the ground and Tarbo was just like, somebody better call the police and you know, help get this guy something, cause I don't know what to do. My favorite picture is still Tarbo, like with his fucking knee in the back of uh fucking Mikey Mayhem. Yes! Mikey Mayhem can oh, suck that every was so good. Every centimeter of my butt. Dude basically ruined the, like, the local music scene back when I first oh. started playing in bands by just being like the biggest fucking scam artist in existence and pretty much monopolizing, booking for, and fucking over everyone he didn't like. Yeah. He he basically destroyed and also like, just so many dipping people's... out with the money that he was supposed to pay people he did book half the time and shit like that. It yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and of he trash. would always and he would always pull the cross up. He would be like, Oh, well, I haven't been paid yet. You're gonna have to talk to the venue, uh you know, about payment and all this, like, no, he paid Mikey already. It's like, for real? And then you go and he'd be gone. Yep. That's, like, everyone who dealt with him said the exact same thing. And if you ever called him out for that online, he'd be like, meet me somewhere, I'll beat your fucking ass and shit like that. And it's just know? like, and I'd be, and here's the thing. He pissed off Tarvo one time and Tarvo fucking put his face on the sidewalk. And yes. It was fucking glorious. Yeah. 
Oh my god. So good. Melvin perform an absolute blunder with a woman, and Tristan, <coughs> well, he can take it from here. Look at her! Honk, honk. Mm, honk, honk. Anyway, <laughs> that's all in the past now. What was on the agenda for today? We'd been enjoying our city boy, nightclub, bussin, for real, for real, 100 emoji, never seen a cow in my entire life sort of dude lifestyle. But what about America's more yee ass redneck sort of activity? <laughs> That's right, we would be partaking in the cultural institution of NASCAR. Hell yeah, brother. I love NASCAR. <laughs> but that wouldn't be until the evening, so in the meantime. Oh watch out, watch out for the poo. Is it here? Oh, oh, where? Oh, oh. Fucking stop. Yeah. There is actually poo. <laughs> a lot of, lot of dog Breakfast. shit. Bethan! Picking up Nathan from the airport, <laughs> who was the last to arrive, and going to Walmart. Walmart. At Walmart, we gathered very important supplies. Hell yeah. Beer, oh, and a yes. bit more beer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fucking. No! Ugh! You could have gotten anything, dude. What? Uh. I like White Castle's ladders. White Castle sliders. I think I might kill myself. <laughs> with our fridge, stocked up they're with the supplies there, a group of man. ten men could ever need. Oh, well, hopefully they're better than the ones that are actually at the restaurant. I don't know. In my opinion, they're pretty decent. I've never actually it, been to the restaurant. It, it was NASCAR time. So back in the cars, onto the highway, and into the Irwindale Speedway's enormous parking lot. A parking lot full of giant pickup trucks. And a large number of Americans who, um... Uh, uh, you know... I like you, cut, G. <laughs> you know, like... Inside the complex itself, they played the national anthem, and everyone, literally everyone, stopped what they were doing, put their hands on their hearts, and listened. Which we thought was pretty odd. Yeah. And before we knew it, it was time to watch some. That's the patriotism we get here in this country. And oh boy, did they do just that. Yeah. By the way, this isn't NASCAR. This is like local stock car. We have a tr hell, dude. We have a track for that. We have a track for that stuff, like pretty locally. Although we do also have a NASCAR track that fucks up traffic twice a year. Jesus Christ. Bro. <clears throat> oh my god, they're turning left again! Damn. I'm tucking out from all these races. I could really do with some... Do you hear that? Oh my god, it's the it's the gummy bear song! And they're giving out gummy bears! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, NASCAR time was over, but this event wasn't just NASCAR. It was also a demolition derby. Hell yeah! That's a bit more entertaining. Now this is true redneck entertainment. I know well here's the thing about stock car racing. Stock car racing used to be fun when you could like bump into each other and, like, knock each other into the walls and shit like that. But no, modern rules and, you know, the car of tomorrow makes it to where you can't do that anymore. It's like, fuck. There goes all the fun. And then, uh, and demolition derbies are a dime a dozen nowadays because Cash for Clunkers bought up all the old, car like, the old cars that were actually worth something and were durable. Uh, and now most demolition derbies are just... Shitty sedans from like 1999 to 2007, instead of like old Cadillacs or old Oldsmobiles that were made like a solid fucking metal and could take a beating and could just keep run keep on trucking. Ugh. It was derby time. <laughs> Demolition of the internet. Internet. <laughs> internet had to fuck up on us at least once. Fellas, it was derby time. Derp. Ah. 
1329. Oh my god, it's the. There we go. Say media player car one. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I guess we should go home. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? Is that that's a fucking rhinoceros? Yes it is. Okay, surely that's the end of the event. Okay, that's enough. Let's go home. You know what I notice is that like most Americans are fucking obese. Well that was fun. Hmm. I wouldn't say most Americans, but I would say a good proportion. Mm. I was going to say, would you say that about the people you met in the clubs? Because all the people in the club that you met were Americans. So were any of them, like, obscenely overweight? I, I will admit, like, you know, America, America technically isn't the fattest country in the world anymore. ATL. Man, I'm losing weight. So steadily, like, people watching may not believe me, but... Mm. Like I don't know. Like I've, I have like <gasps> checks at my doctor a lot because of my medication. Like I, it's like the law. I have to go back every once in a while, or I'm not allowed to keep getting my medication. So yeah, like my weight has gone down every time I've gone for like the past six months, at least some. So well, for those of you want, those of you wondering, yes, Nick is on drugs and is causing him to lose weight. I'm on drugs. <clears throat> Except for it's not what? that the drugs are causing me to lose weight. It's that I'm just trying not to eat as much foods as I used to. Fair enough. Trying to eat less carbs than I used to. Next. I still get cookies well, like we once could... every couple weeks. Though. It's cheap. Go home, cook up dinner, have an early night, and be refreshed and ready to take on tomorrow. It's so or nightclub. Sydney was gracious enough to be our designated sober driver. But only Sydney. So we only had one car. Gentlemen, I present to you the clown car. Yes. <laughs> Wendy! This won't go in a video, will it? I mean, maybe. Can't we break in the wall? <coughs> no. Yeah. Uh, hold, hold on a minute, guys. Guys, what's, what, what's going on? Guys, guys, where are you? Guys, guys, I think we went to the wrong place. Guys, guys, there was a very suspicious woman here. Please, guys, guys. Well, no vacancy. I miss Angie, and it's my job to show you the way. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Damn. I'm coming in, <laughs> Day four began, and we woke up. Dusty. This was a rather unpleasant experience. Our breakfast today was a classic American cereal, Lucky Charms, and Seamus had come up with a brilliant combination to cure his hangover. Sometimes artistic expression requires genius. <coughs> no. Yeah, gross. <laughs> okay, I've, I'm officially calling it here. Don't get me wrong. White Castle burgers are shitty, but I am not trusting the tier list anymore because how the hell can you call White Castle burgers shit when you're trusting that? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, that tastes beautiful! Get in there, get in there, mate. No. Nah. <laughs> Have a spoonie there, bro. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> the rest of the guys had Disgusting. some bacon. Disgusting. Chicken and eggs, and we made sure to tip all of the bacon grease down the sink for the sink gnomes to eat. <laughs> no. <clears throat> okay. Mart, here's what I'll make an offer to you for. Tell you what, come to our neck of the woods. We'll, like, at least for a day or two, we'll show you, like, some true redneckery. We'll, try, we'll show you some true redneckery, and also, you know what? I'll make all y'all breakfast. That's ten Australians with hearty appetites, I know, but I'll do it. I don't give a fuck. Plus, you know, I like cooking. What can I say? Mmm. Yum. Speaking of sink gnomes, does anyone remember in this video where I mentioned the six-way, all stop sign intersection in Beverly Hills? You went no. there. Why not? Well, there's an intersection in Beverly Hills that is six ways and all stop signs, which we thought was such a curious piece of traffic engineering that we collectively decided, fuck it, let's go. Beverly Hills is pretty close, let's check it out. So, we loaded up in the cars and drove to Beverly Hills. The drive there was quite an interesting experience. You see, Beverly Hills is quite dire. Lots of homelessness, lots of grime, lots of crackheads, and lots of funky smells. But just a few miles down the road, on the street, it changed expect? drastically. The dirt and grime was gone. The homelessness was gone. The hedges were getting taller. The roads were quieter and wider. The cars were nicer. The roads were lined with flowers. And the houses were absolutely huge. Fucking bullshit. Gentlemen, we had arrived in the quiet streets of Beverly Hills. Three, two, one, go! go, 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 go. <coughs> Beverly Hills was like a completely different city. A completely different city with very questionable traffic management. Case in point, the intersection. The six-way stop. Oh, 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 oh. Of course, we parked up and examined it more closely on foot. Wow. This place is just weird. So as you can see, we are in a business meeting right now. Yes. <laughs> no. Come on, dude. Nearby was also this nice park, so we checked that out too. My horny ass could not tend a koi garden. <laughs> what? No, Someone throw a rock at it. I've never seen that animal. Hey! All right. It's a square. Well, I'd say we'd see a good amount of the rich cool. Now, back to the crackheads. Well, I need you bad, man. Gentlemen, was that a we were going to Santa Monica Pier. I can't remember. Once again, like last year, it was full of curious characters. There's a girl the the small young thing. Street performers that took so long to do their performance that we got bored and left. Come around and collect your money! <laughs> Plenty of those aforementioned crackheads and this cat backpack thing. Cat pack. Okay, that's pretty cool. At the end of the pier, we sat down and watched the sunset. Bye. You're a pretty bird. <coughs> so we went back to the cars and I completely forgot to visit the wall shit spot again. No! Damn. Speaking of wall shits. I'm hungry. Taco Bell. Dude. Bro, come on! Turns out the Taco Bell is actually pretty good. <laughs> I like Taco Bell. S tier. Hey, okay, cool. Well, let's go to bed. Now I want Taco <coughs> Bell, thanks. I'm good with day five. Here. We woke up feeling fine. <laughs> kind of crazy that not getting shit faced results in better sleep. Today was our last day in LA, and we'd noticed something disturbing. All of our phones had a severe lack yeah. of hard photos. To remedy this, I have scouted a location and come up with a plan. The Hollywood sign. But before that, we need to fuel ourselves with some breakfast at Burger King. This particular Burger King had a crackhead outside, which is always a good sign, and the food was actually pretty good. Yeah, oh, Burger King Jr. is pretty good. Crowds. A tier. Nice. With our bodies fueled up and back in the cars, on we drove to the Hollywood sign. 
and past this Scientologist center. Burger King here is just missing tier now. Yeah. They all fucking disappeared from around here. The only one that they I used know to be that, good too. They were better than McDonald's. Yeah. The only one that I know that still exists 100% is the one at exit 19. <clears throat> that one still exists, and from what I've been told, it's actually still pretty good. He's a fucking scientist. He's a fucking scientologist. He acts dianetic as fuck. Ah, uh, he has type three dianetics. Yeah. <laughs> and before we knew it, the hard photo. Bruh. I'd give the Hollywood <laughs> sign a B tier. But you know what? I think we need more hard photos. No. And where else to get more hard photos than a museum full of cars? Oh. Like this one. And this one. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Lots of cars. My personal favorites were this car for Soviet leaders, this particular steel ball that did nothing significant whatsoever, <laughs> and this thing. Yeah, that's a car. Well, that's a good amount of hard photos. Food time. <laughs> Carl Jr. Carl Jr. was pretty generic. We are currently out of price But also pretty good. So we decided on B tier. Carl Jr. Okay, you know what? Alright. I think we might just need more hard photos. See, these just weren't doing it for us. They lacked a certain amount of drip. A certain amount of drip we could acquire from these vintage stores. Oh, Tristan man. found this. Holy shit. And I found this Daytona jacket. Hell yeah. With our drip firmly secured, we left the store and began heading back to the cars. <coughs> that was until we spotted a familiar face across the road. Yay! What the fuck? What the fuck, Ray? Right, let's go, let's go. Wait a minute. Oh, why are you guys here? <laughs> oh, this no. Time, he was with a woman. Let's fucking go, Melvin! Yeah! Then we went to the Griffith Observatory. <laughs> well, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> well, where do we at the, at the well, Griffith <laughs> Observatory? <laughs> wow. Yeah, where do we at the Griffith Observatory? <laughs> Griffith Observatory. Eh. C tier. Literally. Back home, it was time for dinner. And so the local Italian, Simon, ah. got to work. With an army hearties. Army hearties. Army hearties. Army hearties. Arguing with Tim about how to cook the pasta. The situation. That's not how that works. No. That's not a big deal, bro. That's okay. We can reboil water. Why don't you freeze it as fast as we can use boiling water later? Fucking No, stop, stop. Just fucking pour it down the sink. What are you doing? Just pour it down the sink. Tim, just pour it down the sink. Look, dinner was yum. We got there in the end. It was a bit of a struggle, but it was yum. Now, we needed more supplies. Supplies that we would be able to get from this very normal, totally ordinary course. Yeah! That sold tasers. Naturally, oh, yeah. we tased Sydney. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna fuck eat it. I'm gonna fuck eat it. Is that it? What the fuck? Sadly, only one of the barbs made a proper connection. So to actually get tased, he had to touch the other barb on the floor. <laughs> this just wouldn't do. So we stepped it up a notch. Hell yeah. Oh, my Why are they just wanting to taste the one dude? It's bullying. I guarantee you it's because he volunteered. And here's the thing. So. When you volunteer, you're the bottom bitch. And when you're the bottom bitch, you just gotta take it. <laughs> this is around the time when we noticed a newcomer entering the building. A tall, intense looking dude with a big scar on his cheek. We told him we just taste Sydney and he went, he then began talking with the shopkeeper. He bought himself a police scanner, got a little tutorial on how to use it from the shopkeeper, and left. Uh, right. 
that's no. <laughs> Overall, that shop, S tier. <laughs> but you know what isn't S tier? The White Castle sliders <laughs> sitting in the freezer. This was our last night after all, and they probably wouldn't survive three plus hours <laughs> in the hot car Fuck. tomorrow. So, uh, well, well, well. reluctantly, we opened them up, defrosted them, stacked them like bricks to create the true White Castle. Fuck, you're the king of the White Castle, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> and ate. These were no exaggeration. You didn't put the worst pieces of frozen food I have ever had the displeasure of consuming. Any on them, did you? Me, that is not good. <laughs> and Seamus thought so too. Why the fuck would you do that? Why the Bro. fuck would you throw that at the window? It was white castle. What is with Australians and using the c word all the time? I don't know. <laughs> this really made me think, man. Americans have it rough when it comes to food. No wonder they have a reputation for looking like this. <laughs> F tier. Again. Anyway, tomorrow we'd be traveling to the lake house, so we got in bed and slept. Day six. Traveling to the Alpine Lake House in Big Bear Lake. We've oh, been having such Big a good Bear. time in LA that leaving it set a cloud of melancholy over us. We bid farewell to the LA house and set off for the mountains. Any last words? Last words. Come to North Harbin Boulevard. Bye. Head south Goodbye. To North Hollywood Boulevard. Really? American squirrel will taste so good food that you have to eat like ten of it. <laughs> Once we've made our way out of LA, the scenery got substantially prettier. Lads, this is beautiful. But you know what this place yeah. here needs desperately? <gasps> a Walmart. And they have one. Oh, wow, well, look at that. In Walmart, we <laughs> bought more food and supplies for our 10 hungry tum tums, like goobers. Look, gooba. They got you in a job, bro. I fucking love gooba. I'm they a gooba. Oh, and, uh. Bro. Brother, Back on the road, we had begun ascending into the mountains, and the scenery was getting pleasanter and pleasanter. Up here, we could look down into the valley and see the vast sprawl that is LA. Well, we would have been able to see LA if it wasn't for the pungent, thick, juicy layer of smog covering all of it. Wonderful. I give LA smog an F tier. And what do you know? Big Bear Lake. All right, we've seen him now. Let's go to Vegas. Oh, Vegas. Vegas. oh okay. come on. All right. What were we actually doing here? Well, I wanted to go to a lake house since it seems chill, but why specifically Big Bear Lake? Well, during the planning phase of this trip, I heavily relied on Google Maps. I'd scour the map, look around, use the 3D view, use Street View, and generally look at my computer and go, hmm. While looking over Big Bear Lake, I spotted an intriguing town nearby. Not Big Bear, but a far smaller one to its north. I thought to myself, eh. show the boys, and they went, eh. <laughs> and the rest is history. Well, this was nice. Okay, I'm bored. Pelagon time. <laughs> I give pellet gun time an S tier. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Time for lunch. Jack in the box. Mm. Just kind of. Yeah. So, C tier. You didn't eat up the sourdough okay. burger, did you, Mark? Oh, is that the secret? Sourdough? I didn't hear we got the games room. How are you going to go to a restaurant that offers a sourdough burger and not get the fucking sourdough burger? Like, come on. Maybe, maybe because Mark will probably answer be like, "Of course, I don't want a bloody sourdough burger. I want a, I want a bloody, uh, I want a bloody like real American burger. It's like sourdough kind of is a real American burger." Oh, I say, how we doing, boys? It's climbed the peach tree. Martin's just chilling. <laughs> okay, I'm bored again. It's boat time.
Seize a wrath, boys. <laughs> Boat time consisted of driving the boat, seeing the Big Bear Lake Solar Observatory, <coughs> which takes photos like this, seeing these helicopters, for some reason, uh, and yes. doing boat burnouts. <laughs> I give boat time... A tier. He was good. Okay, Fair. for real this time, <laughs> let's go back to the cabin, and the boys want to check out the town. Okay, well we still had two cars, so Tristan, Nathan and I hopped in one of them and took it back home. While the boys were enjoying themselves looking at various funky stores like the Boneyard, oh, we no. were at home, freaking the fuck out because of a smell. Yes. We scrambled to do what we could. We opened all the windows, checked everywhere for the source of the leak. We frantically tried to get a draft going, but to no avail. Boys, there was a gas leak in the house. Yeah. Fuck me dead. Shit is so fuck. Guys, I'm fucking sorry. Huh? House blow up. House blow up. Uh, yeah, uh, that didn't happen. House blew up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the gas leak did happen, but the house didn't blow up. We just opened all the windows, turned the stove off, and <coughs> it was fine. And with that devilish prank completed. That. Burgers, yeah. and bed. Day seven. Nothing. Literally fuck all. We sat around the cabin, drank beer. Would you rather have your dick hang a load in your balls, or your balls hang a load in your dick? And went to bed. <laughs> Day eight. I would rather have my, my dick hanging lower than my balls, which... Uh. Our time at Big Bear Lake had come to an end, and today we'd be plunging deeper into the American West on the way to the Grand Canyon. Keen hit the road, we packed everything back into the cars, uh, did a final check of the house. All good. And breakfast. El pollo loco. The crazy chicken. To me, the crazy chicken is just the normal chicken. Inside this fine establishment, we ordered our food. Olo got a wonderful new name. La. La. <laughs> and we La. ate. Shockingly, it was very good. We also checked their stock price for some reason. It's pretty crazy. Let me tell you, it's good. And so we bestowed upon it our greatest honor. Estia. Yeah. The road to the Grand Canyon was long, especially because we wanted to go through Joshua Tree National Park and have a gander at the Joshua Trees. In total, we had over six <coughs> hours on the road ahead of us, so we swallowed the burritos whole and piled back into the Siennas. <laughs> Joshua Tree National Park goes hard. Oceans of small shrubs with these huge rocky mountains jutting out, and of course, Joshua trees. Naturally, we had to check it out and also piss. Group pissing session starts now. So Make a puddle, boys! Fucking piss central here, bro. On this desert road, we learned many things. Like, the car's top speed on Google is wrong. The US military just be doing stuff in the desert with VTOL aircraft for yep. some reason. Fuck, oh, that's so cool. The desert's pretty cool, and, um... That's a bug right there. Ooh. Where? Right there. Just move it with a stick, you fucking moron. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Before long, the desert road had given way to the Colorado River. And over the other side of it... Arizona. Arizona. Just in time for lunch at Wendy's. London Bridge in Arizona. <laughs> bloody baffled I am. You're what? I'm bloody losing my marbles. Oh, wait, this man is losing his mind. Now, <laughs> to be blunt, Wendy's was, uh, uh, it was bad. The food was dry, the chips were bad, the nuggets were bad, and they misspelled almost everyone's names. Alo, Shamus, Shamus, Tristan, and, uh, and we got Bonnell. 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 Who the fuck is Bottle? <laughs> <coughs> you you went to shitty Wendy's. Yeah. Well, the Wendy's near here is uh, both Wendy's near here are actually pretty damn good. Yeah. Here's what I'll say, dude. It, 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 if you go to a bad Wendy's, you're gonna have a bad time. If you go to any bad restaurant, you're gonna have a bad time. But Wendy's is usually on like my upper echelon of like. Yeah, go because I've also been to some Burger Kings that were not fucking. Eight. No. Not at all. But I've also been to Burger Kings that were like S tier, so. Yeah. Tier. 
Yeah, I've been to Taco Just Bell's bad. that were not uh, S tier as well, but the ones near here thankfully are. Thankfully, yes. And uh, I will say this: the worst one I've ever been to was Philly. Uh, the worst Wendy's I've ever been to was in Philly. Of course, we, me, and my dad walk in there. And the whole place just goes quiet. I went to one somewhere on the way back from Asheville, North Carolina, one time. And it was not good. But the one near our place is good. The one in Irwin is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, like most of the ones that I've been to are pretty damn good. But I, Oh, yeah, the one in Bristol is good, too. <clears throat> yeah. Um but the one in Philly, dude, me and my dad walked in there. The whole place went quiet. It's because me and my dad were, like, the like the only uh, white dudes in, in the place. Oh. And If it's the kind of place where you're the only white dudes and everybody goes quiet when you walk in, they probably made your food shit on purpose. Yeah. They don't want us to come back. Yeah. 150 so miles of chill as fuck road later, we'd reached our next destination. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, Simon found some curious products. It's called the Free Piece Tactical Kit. A torch, pliers, and a fucking knife. What, 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 do you, what do you need this for? It's like you're, you're like in the bar trying to fix something on your car, and there's a fucking bear attacking you. <laughs> While one of the cars was Walmart <laughs> making important purchases for our hungry tum tums, the car I was driving made its way to Big Five Sporting Goods. We were here to have a look at their wares, and their wares did not disappoint. Wait a second. This is, this is just Walmart. Okay, back to the road, and night time. <coughs> night driving is chill. Finally, we had reached the dirt track, and before we knew it, we had arrived at the Grand Canyon Shack. First things first, let's examine our wares. You know, the usual bits of food like some mints and a bit of spaghetti and uh, three BB guns, go. a SIG MCX, a lever action thing, and a, a red rider. I gotta say, BB guns make for exceptional props. Yeah, not real guns, so don't flip out, you two. <laughs> then dinner and Oh no, the person logged into this TV isn't subscribed to me. What are we gonna do? Yeah. Subscribe, fuckers. You better subscribe. Anyway, <laughs> it was bedtime. Mark, I'm already subscribed. And bedtime <gasps> will bring us to one of this house's special surprises. The stack. Wow. Day 9. So, why were we here in bumfuck nowhere Arizona in the first place? The answer may shock you. Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. So, one breakfast, shoot a BB gun and get into the car later, we were on the road to the Southern Rim. This is where we discovered something truly unnerving. A roundabout. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Seriously, we hadn't seen a single roundabout the entire time we'd been in America. And I knew a couple of places where it would make a lot of sense. You know, like it would make a lot of sense. We arrived in the parking lot, <laughs> found a squirrel. He took the joke seriously. These nuts. And walked over to the edge of the South Rim. It's pretty grand. Nah, always better. Be All right, we weren't just here to look at it. We were here to walk. Damn. So we started walking. go where you walk is the boy oh god <laughs> Going 
going down was fairly easy, and we yeah. reached the bottom in a little over two hours. Hooray! Hooray! And this is where I surprise the boys with a little treat. Instead of having to walk all the way back up, we were gonna... Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey, hey, get back here! There he goes, there goes our ride. What are we gonna do? <laughs> oh, man. Shit. And so, the ascent began. The ascent, no surprise, was much, much harder than the descent. Mm -hmm. This wasn't no helped by our insistence of ascending. <laughs> That's as the fast whole as we thing. Could. Is if I ever get to the Grand Canyon, and people are like, "Do you want to walk down into it?" I'm gonna be like, "Fuck no, no, I don't." Why not? Because you'll have to walk back out of it if we do that. And guess what? I'm gonna be pretty fucking tired by the time we get to the bottom of it. There's no, no, doubt. no fucking way I'm gonna walk back out of it. Hell I'm out no. of shape. Suck my butt. <laughs> H to the E to the double L. No. Chat shit again, mate. So up we went. Can't hear. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Fucked. I'm so fucked. I'm still going. Tell me that is not fucking every color you could imagine. <laughs> Mountain Goat. Normal day at the office. And an hour and 50 minutes later, Tristan and I had reached the top. <laughs> yeah! A bit further down, however, were Sydney and Harrison. Day 145, walking through the Grand Canyon. Oh, we are lost. <laughs> there is no one in sight. We are almost at the ridge. We are running low on water and nut bars, <laughs> and the squirrels are starting to look tempting. Once all of us had collected at the top, we watched the last bit of sunset, found this railway, took <clears throat> a few silly ones, and bought ourselves some yummy pizza. I give the Grand Canyon an S tier. Back home, we watched some important items on the TV, like uh, tweaker compilations. If, do you enjoy this? I love all of pieces. And slowly drifted to sleep. Nathan, while outside, took these very nice photos of the clear night sky. Yeah. And Simon, of course, <gasps> captured some dastardly ones. Oh. <laughs> so, for me, that's one thing that I would definitely want to have is like, like to see. Slowly in, drifted. In, if I'm especially out where the Grand Canyon is, where there's not a lot of, light, you know, unnatural that's light. That's pretty dope. It doesn't even look that Nathan, good here. No. But, yeah, that it's is... It's like we're not even close to that much light pollution here, and it still doesn't look like that. No. Well, outside took these... Look at that shit. Very oh. nice photos of the clear night sky. Oh. And Simon, so of course, captured some dastardly ones while we were vulnerable. As you do. That, back to the stack. And sleep. Oh, Day 10. We arose from the stack and discovered something <laughs> incredible outside. Can you guess what it was? I bet you weren't thinking solar eclipse. I'm dead serious. We had literally yeah. not planned for this even a little bit, but as luck would have it, the Arizona shack was directly in the eclipse's path. So, I looked up at... Even though most of the sun was obscured, it still looked like the sun. But using some quick thinking and several pairs of sunglasses, we created this. The sun looks like the moon. <laughs> that's because well, that's both, the moon. Both right I'm not that's sure if that's safe or not. It's not. Look at this fool. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's like, I can, oh, <gasps> it's only like a tiny bit of the sun covered though. Yeah, well, it's, it's getting more. The eclipse was a partial solar eclipse, meaning the moon wouldn't be fully covering the sun. About 200 miles away, however, the sun looked like this yeah you see there's another eclipse coming up here soon and i'm gonna be making a trip for that one how far away did you say that was again st louis st louis where missouri jesus i'm flying there dude i ain't driving yeah. fair enough being under the eclipse was strange of course, it never went completely dark, but it did get pretty cold. And not to mention, shadows. Look at the fucking shadows. 
Yeah, the shadows. It was odd to think that there were probably thousands of people all around us, many of them having no idea this was happening above them right now. Yep. Passenger train during the solar eclipse. Oh, wait, what the hell? What the hell? There we are. What the f Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's still that pretty damn crazy. cool. crazy. Okay. So it's like I think it's going away now. Then, we shot the sun. Wait. Freeze! Huh? Stop resisting! <laughs> I give the eclipse an S tier. <laughs> Today we had absolutely nothing planned, so we spent the entire day shooting the BB guns. Literally all day. Three, two, one. Nice. We started with about 3,000 BBs and ended with zero. S tier. <laughs> I love BB guns. Yeah. Janice got this nice view put them the on there twice. We cooked some. Yes. They're just that good. The questionable looking lasagna for dinner. Oh. And that was that. Back to the stack, gents. Bedtime. <laughs> Tomorrow was going to be an early one because we were going to our final destination Las Vegas. Las Vegas. And to the South Point 400 NASCAR race. Now that's true NASCAR race. Next time. There you go. Thanks to World of Tanks for something. Knew it. I knew that it was getting close to the end. I was like, I was going to say, how is he going to fit Las Vegas into this video <clears throat> when it was already getting close to the end of it? And now we know there's going to be a part two. Offering this video, use code combat, get your walking around money, and uh, goodbye. 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 Oh God. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, that was Martin Cito Pants, ten idiot Australians versus America. Fun thing is, like, even though I'm American, like, they're always doing things in these videos that I haven't personally ever actually done myself. Well, that's the thing. They are predominantly doing shit that's on never, the West Coast. Yeah, I've never been to the West Coast. So. I haven't either. The furthest west I've been is uh, is uh, Texas. And, look, here's the thing. I'd love to go to the West Coast. Love to go to Vegas. I'd love to go to the Grand Canyon. Hell, I'd love to drive down Route 66. But that's not happening anytime soon. But either way, though, I mean, th I guarantee if they came to the East Coast, there'd be, like, there'd be different things that they could do. I mean, hell, I, I could see them very well, like, like starting down in Florida and going up all the way into New York and just having like a vast wealth of different experiences. Dude, I'd love for them to come here and try traditional like American barbecue. <clears throat> you know, like go to South Carolina and get some whole hog barbecue or go to Texas and get some like good traditional brisket. Oh, baby. That'd be that'd be top notch. Anyway, so that's going to do it. For this, uh, hopefully, I guess, in the next one, we'll see Mark return to the great city of Las Vegas. And uh, till next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.